Manny Oil EK, a nil nil draw at home to Rochdale today. A very credible result. Just some of your thoughts after that performance for us. Um, if you ask us, um, will we take a nil nil draw before the game? Probably say yeah, but um, if you look at all the chances we had and how we played, um, we we're a bit disappointed, but you know, we're also encouraged by the fact that we've pretty much dominated a match against a League One team who's eighth in the league. So um, we're encouraged as well, but we're still disappointed. We think that. Without their key part, they would have been out at the time. We would have been in the pot for round three guaranteed. But um, overall, um, not too disappointed, but we still know that we should have won the game. Clean sheet, solid defensive performance, excellent attacking intent against a team who have had a very, very good 18 months. Mm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, they've done very well in their league. Um, probably surprised most um, how high they are in their league, you know. But um, like I said, um, with the quality of the opposition we're playing against, we can't be too hard on ourselves. But um, just judging by the chance we had in the game, um, how well their keeper played and how well we played, like you said, clean sheet. It's a team who scored a lot of goals in League One. Um, there's a lot of positive to take out of it. It had an element feel of the Portsmouth game, didn't it? You were solid and in the last sort of 25 minutes, you just bombarded them. And as you mentioned earlier, without their keeper, we'd be in the third round now. Yeah, um, surprisingly enough, we feel um, very confident that in the last 25, 20 minutes of, the, of every game, we feel we're very energetic for some reason. I don't know why. We should should be that way around, but um, we're very energetic. We're very um, just all hands on deck, and we really do want to score. So it's like I said, um, same again today. Atmosphere was great from the fans as well, just like Portsmouth. So we had the feeling that we could nick it, just like the Portsmouth game, but it um, wasn't to be today. And how much has the eight days rest had an impact on the players? Because it was Saturday, Tuesday. We've had eight days now. And it showed out there the fitness wise you're all up to it and kept going to the end yeah um we've got a very good squad um, very good players and like i said um the management team do work on very hard on our fitness so the eight days period did help us out a lot as well seeing as we've got a lot of games and all the replay as well I added one more game to it so um, yeah i'm really happy with our fitness levels this can give you a confidence boost going into the league now because when we won at Portsmouth and went on to beat Kidderminster and Nuneaton, it can have a knock on effect in league games, can't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, we're very confident. I think that if we can't take positives and be confident from games like this, then there's no other game that we can do. But um, yeah, I think we just need to have a bit more belief in ourselves in the league and um, capitalise on, especially the games straight after the cup games like Wednesday, because they'll probably be thinking that we'll be tired and we just have to shake that off um, with the two days rest that we have got. And, um, be ready to play on Wednesday. It's about maintaining those standards for the replay now, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. Just maintaining what we've done. Um, we've played against them once. We believe that we can do it again um, away from home. We know that the support that we're going to get is going to be great. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Wednesday is Macclesfield here at home. It's back to league form now. Macclesfield are having a terrific standard season by their standards. What are your thoughts ahead of Macclesfield? Um, yeah, um, doing very well. Doing very well in the league so far. Um, probably surprising. But, um, like I said, um, in football, it's so 11 players against 11 players, you know, um, so we have to be confident whoever we're playing against, we're at home in front of our own fans. And if we play as well as we did today, which we should, like we said, maintain our standards, then um, we've got no, no fears at all in the game. Manny, thanks for your time. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.